Hello again. I want to answer a question today, and that question is, why is there no C-Star compiler yet? It's a fair question, and the reason is because while I could just implement something quickly in the classic Microsoft fashion, the problem with doing that is that there are other things that I want to be able to take advantage of in order to make this language effectual. In other words, it's not very optimal of me to use C-Star in a naive way. One of the things that C-Star really should be able to leverage is arbitrarily long numeric codings. For example, being able to have a big integer implementation or a unum implementation in the assembler backend is a really big deal for correctly implementing the language with respect to other things like the lack of an abstract type system. We only have a concrete one. So for where things are not concrete, they are not typed, it's hard to represent those things. So I want to create an assembler for it. Now, I have made some progress in implementing the assembler, although life does tend to get in the way. It's still difficult because I'm implementing this assembler on other existing hardware. Now, I try to persevere with this. It's hard, but I'm doing it, and it takes time that I don't have a lot of. I don't have a lot of resources. If you want to help me out with that and make that less of an issue, I recommend that you go here and sponsor me. I've actually already got somebody doing that, so that's nice. But why don't I have it yet? Well, there's a lot that I want to be able to go into it. A naive implementation of a C-Star compiler doesn't really give us any benefits over C, so it's not worth doing. Besides the C-Star compiler itself, there are a whole host of other related tools that I want to be able to leverage in my software development pursuits. My framing about the C-Star compiler is that it's not an end, but rather it's a means along with a lot of other tools, such as Quindle, Hinterlib, Oraceon, Sinistret's browser, the Biblos SDK, Sirius DOS, and so on. All of these tools, eventually they will be implemented in a mechanicalist way so that I do not have to continually maintain them, as most programmers have to continually maintain their software these days, because otherwise other code that people update will break it sooner or later. We don't have stable platforms anymore. Everything is a moving target. It. Serious DOS is my effort to get away from that. So when I create these things, I will achieve a quality that nobody else has, which is maintenance-free programming. It eschews abstractions in pursuit of authoring well-behaved code that does not require continuous intervention from engineers to continue functioning. The reason that I need this is the same reason that I don't have a lot to show just yet, because I'm one person. I don't have all the time in the world, and if I had to enumerate how much time has been wasted in my life by other people updating things and changing it without asking me and without even uh, wondering if I'm okay with this or if I care. That would be a lot of time in my life that I'm never going to get back. I have been endlessly frustrated in dealing with that. I don't want to deal with that anymore. I can't afford that. I'm one person and I have no money. So it's most expensive on me. It's least expensive on venture back software product development where they just throw more money at the problem and so they don't feel it. It's not very fair, but that's how life is. And so I'm trying to break out of that paradigm for my own sake. So the way that I'm trying to build towards C-Star is a holistic approach where I am developing the prerequisites necessary to build this and not have it immediately fall apart within a year. Earlier in the year, I had promised somebody an academic paper regarding modular memory. I'm going to talk more about that later. But then I had to retract that promise because I realized that I would not be able to make a paper and get it published on archive without it falling victim to bit rot. At some point, it would no longer be reproducible. The big crux of science, at least as experimental science, is reproducibility. If other people can't produce your work, they're kind of just taking it on faith that it does what you said it does. And I don't I don't feel right about that, so I'm not doing that. So I'm right back at square one once again. I need to create some kind of platform or some kind of basis upon which I can write a piece of code and it's not going to die in six months because, I don't know, Homebrew decides that they want to move the root for their installation from user local to opt slash homebrew. I'm sure they have their reasons. That's beside the point. The point is, is that it changed and broke everything and I had to spend an afternoon of my life fixing it that I'm never going to get back. And when you know that you generally you have roughly 20,000 working days in your entire life before you drop dead, it feels really bad to know that you threw one of those away for somebody else's benefit or really not even anybody's benefit. It's just that they made you do it and there was nothing you can do about it. I'm trying to get away from that. And C-Star is one of the tools that I want to use to leverage that. So 
so it's difficult. I will admit that sometimes I don't know which angle of attack I should take when it comes to making progress on these problems. I think it would be a big help if I had somebody that I could collaborate with who could get me unstuck whenever I get stuck because I have a lot of great ideas and I know how this these things will fit together. It's just difficult to power through this and actually make it. I hope that explains it. Thanks for watching.